What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, John. I think everybody here welcome you back to another episode of The Saga Lock. Hopefully, you all are having an enjoyable, enjoyable, lovely Monday morning. Um, I could say top the morning to laddies. Um, that's a Jack Subscribe reference. Holy crap, a doodle. Dude, it's been like years since I've watched Jack Subscribe, but yet I remember that. That is what we call a good hook. Anyways, let's go ahead and go through the team recap because I was looking to make sure the levels were okay. Because we're kind of going to do things a little bit in a little bit of a jumbled order. I'm so sorry I was talking about not wanting to do that. But also, Gym Challenge over Team Star any day of the week. It's fine. I definitely don't have scars from Team Scar. Team Star. Anyways, we have Mama Bear with Gooey. Uh, Burning Jealousy, Discharge, Last Respects, and Fly. We have Skull Widward with Intrepid Sword. Yawn, Cross Poison, Cell Rock, and Heat Wave. We have Nolan with Mortal Spin, Foul Play, Earthquake, Springside Storm. We've got Trudy with Quiver Dance, Aqua Step, Overdrive, and Scorching Sands. We have Patrick with Avalanche, Wicked Blow, Facade, and Silk Trap. And lastly, we have our boy Boomy with Shell Armor. Can't get crit. We love it. No Retreat, Breaking Swipe, Sacred Sword, Bitter Malice. We have a Pokemon that cannot get crit with two moves that reduce attack and something that buffs our defense speed attack and special attack at the cost of not being able to move the only thing that could be bad with no retreat is with it being a randomizer the way the randomizer is that's the only thing that could be bad <laughs> with no retreat so we're going to try and not use that move especially because we have two attack lowering moves as is but I was very, very happy with Boomy's move set. Um, for those of you, for those of you that don't know what Silk Track does, because I didn't know what it did um, either, it literally straight up is. Oh, oops! I, it legitimately is protect but lower speed if you get hit with a contact move. Yeah, nope, give, 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 <laughs> give, 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 need, needed. Hold on. I did not know that that was just going to be here. <laughs> okay, we'll just buy those then. Okay, that makes more sense to why, like, things are kind of in a weird spot. So, as far as Pokeballs go, we've been kind of fine. We've been catching or finding Pokeballs fine enough. Battle items are just going to be... Oh, that was... Oh, Mirror Herb. No. We don't need the rest of these, honestly. But, you know who would love leftovers? I, I don't know. Maybe our buddy and... A good old buddy and pal. Uh, this would be... It's battle items. So, would it be this? No. There. Give to Mama Bear and give to our boy. Um, Wise Glasses is for special moves, so I will not use it. I will give to Unfortunately, I wish I knew that I had the Mystic Water sooner or else I would have used it sooner. Okay. Uh, Pokemon Center. You've got to be somewhere around here, I would assume. Yeah, you're right here. Cool. Fly to this spot. Yes, please. Kasakafa West. Let me heal up, Mrs. Mama Bear. As we had to get to level, we had to basically level 30 was the gym, this gym leader's ace. And so my thought process was getting a couple of levels ahead would not be a bad idea considering the way this is randomized. If this is randomized the normal way, I would have said, nope, we got to stick to the plan, Stan. But mm -mm, it's not randomized the normal way, so therefore we have some leeway. Um, But Kazakafa West. So what we got to do is we got to find... Mr. Gym Leader Dude, which is, he's, he's over here. Oh, hi. Pokeball. So, three of them, actually. That's weird that there's three Pokeballs within one Pokeball. I didn't know that that's how that worked, but it is. Okay. 
So this is where our gym is, is up on this plane here. And then we'll have to take on Mello, which is like, it's fine. Now I'm the one going out of order. <laughs> Vault in Veluza. I'm late, I'm late, I'm late. What's he running from? Ah, call for wait. Ah, he got away. How am I supposed to return or return this to him now? Oh, hey, you're a gym challenger, right? Yep. I knew it. Of course you were. That big man that left is Kofu, the leader of the Kasu Kasa Kafa gym. He's a bit childlike. Uh, got a bit of childlike side to him, and today he's run off to the market without his wallet. He'll be in big trouble without it. That's why you come in. Where you come in, kind challenger. Could you please return Kofu's wallet? Sure. Oh, you're too kind. I'd give you a gym badge right now if I could. Here's his wallet. I'm counting on you. We've obtained Kofu's wallet. Can we look into Kofu's wallet, please? Kofu's headed to Porto Miranda. Or Marine Nada. It's on the other side of the desert, up to the west. So be careful. There are so many dangerous Pokemon in the desert. Head to Porto Miranda. Where's Porto? I feel like we went near that. That is because we did kind of pseudo go near that. Um... Hmm. What's the best way? Best way to get there. I'm not sure. I guess literally through the desert. They literally told you, go through the desert. And I was like, no, I refuse to do that. No, we kind of have to. <laughs> we love landing on the Pokemon Center. Time for a siesta. Okay, you have your break. There's so many dangerous Pokemon, apparently, at the desert. Those little Scovits, they're the, they're the most dangerous of them all. The Hizui and Voltorbs could be dangerous, though. Premier Ball... I've never seen that. I don't know what this book one is at all. Um, but it's level 35, so please run away. Good. See, that's the problem. It's like things are actually super ridiculously high leveled. And that's why we needed to freaking... We ran across level 49s a couple episodes ago. Like, there's a reason for me to be scared. It's just, like... It's very much a, like... It's a threatening situation when you have, like super high level Pokemon and you're like you can run into them and it's just like oh okay like what do I do in that case this is why me getting a Pokemon that has protect is amazing rare candy cool we'll take that oh there's Froakies excuse me spikes there's Golducks and Froakies uh, okay, let's let's not and say we did Skullvit. Level thirty probably. Level twenty five. Okay, you're a lot handle more handleable, level wise. Oh my goodness. Oh good, it's running away. I like the fact that the 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 gold duck's running away because I don't really want to fight any water types, preferably ethers. Three of them. That, I was going to say, is that Port Miranda? Ooh. Premier Ball. Yeah, it's like making it through the desert. Sheesh. Oh, nope, Scovitz. 
I love you, Sklovit, but no. No buckaroo. Thank you, buddy. Max ethers. Wow, okay, can we, like, we're getting so many good things, it's like we can't even use it, and it's sad. Um... Figure, oh, a repeat ball, that's our first, okay, that looks like Port Miranda. And if we're going to a new place, we have to make sure we have our Pokeballs ready, because we can get a Pokemon. West Providence Area 2. Valentin Vuzen, where in the world? You little flowers are getting battered by the sea breeze coming fierce, but you don't care. What a strong, pretty little flower. Where, where in the world can I go to find more like you? Tee! Oh shoot, I need to get down to the market. Okay, we understand you need to go to the market, Mr. Mister. But there is this thing. We already got this encounter in here, too. So we don't have to worry about that. There is this thing called... Um, I don't even know what we got as our encounter here. I'm going to be blatantly, like, or blunt about that. Just no idea what we got. But, oh, it was Vaporeon. That's right. Um, I remembered. Good job, me, I guess. Um... Cricketunes. But yeah, so knowing that Port Miranda is a place, I'm hoping that maybe, just maybe, it'll be in an encounterable area. Thunderbolt. Nice! Oh my gosh, I didn't think that I'd get access to Thunderbolt like that, but... I don't even know what that is. Oh, Metal Claw. Cool. Let's... Oh, I ran right into that. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I caught the Shellos off guard. Yeah, understandable, because I'd feel like I caught, I'd caught, i get caught off guard, too, if that happened to me, buddy. Ultra Ball. Sobble. Rossberry. I confused the Sobble. I'm sorry, Sobble. I don't mean to confuse you, buddy. But I need... Oh, Port Miranda. Okay, so I don't think that there's going to be encounterable Pokemon. It doesn't seem as if a lot of the towns have the encounterables. It's like they're going to respawn when I go right here. Yeah, which is creating a problem for me. Because it highly limits what I have access to. It's like one of those my only hope ends up being, can I, like, fishing would be something that would be cool if it was in this game. But so far we haven't found a fishing rod of sorts. Really, game? You, I had to go the way of the freaking... I did. Of course, I had to go that way. Valentin Valusa, where in the world? Where in the world's my wallet? Without my wallet, I won't be able to get today's hot item, and it'll be bought up by somebody else. Sniffle, sniffle. Don't worry, El Man Kofu. I'll run and look for it right now. What do you want? Oh man, Kofu's in the middle of something super duper important. Ingredient buying. If you're thinking about in trying to interrupt him, then I best, I, his best apprentice, will have to stop you. So, do you have something super important to say to us busy folks or what? This is super important. Super important, eh? Well, we'll see about that. Maybe a battle will shut your mouth. You are annoying and don't deserve what... I don't deserve this treatment, Hugo. Like, I get that he's your boyfriend and all, but, like, no. Also, of course, you lit off something. Dude, Mama Bear's been getting 
correct enough. I try and use her and literally she's like, ah, can't get used. And it's like, but mama bear, you're supposed to protect me. I'm not supposed to be protecting you. That's not, the, uh, this is not how this symbiotic relationship is supposed to go. It's supposed to be, you protect me until all of my babies are evolved. Then I don't have to worry about my babies evolving. But, but no, no, that's not how this relationship works, I guess. Which is fine, I guess, but obviously not the preferred method of things, but. But it is what it is, because, you know, we stand Mamba Bear, and Mamba Bear is Mamba Bear for a reason. But, still. Also, one thing I've noticed is all of the terrestrializations are always, like, of the type. They're never, like, of a different type. And I wonder if that's just the, like, if it, there's some mechanic that I was missing. Because I saw, like, a glowing, um, a glowing Cricketoon at some point, And I was like, that's weird. Smog, no. No, no, no. I went to say no, game. We don't need smog. Yuxi. Gonna go with gut and say go to Nolan. Well, Nolan's the best case scenario here. Gonna go ahead and foul play. I should probably mortal spin. Oh, no, I don't need to. We're fine. I'm overthinking. King. That's steel. It's fine. My brain went, that's a fairy move. No, it's not. We're fine. But, you know, 140 base power, 100% accurate, you know, steel move is not what I was wanting to get attacked by. Trudy wants... Yes, Trudy! You go, girl! That's what we need from you. Stepping up to that plate, girl. Thank you, buddy. Um, I'm trying to kind of deviate you away from the Quiver Dance path. Because you're not a special attacker by nature. I'm going to get rid of... I'm going to get rid of Overdrive. Because I like the chance to burn with... Um, Scorching Sands, whereas Overdrive doesn't have that chance. So, yeah, Hugo. Glad you tried to protect your boyfriend and all, but no. Dang it, that backfired. Now my wallet's empty, too. Hey, I step right up and tell me what all this ruckus is over here. Old man Kofu, seems this kid's got something to say to you. What is it now? A customer here for little old wallet, moneyless me. What can I do for ya? I I have your wallet. You return Kofu's wallet to him. Valentin Veluza, my wallet. Say what now? My lobby staffer sent you out here to bring it to me. <laughs> That's a huge help coming all of this way. I guess I should apologize for my little apprentice too. Hope he didn't bother you too much. There's something here at the Porto Miranda auction that we really want to get our hands on so you can imagine we were both a bit worked up to find my I'd forgotten my wallet ladies and gents you won't want to miss this here comes today's last item feast your eyes on the main event legendary wakami seaweed of the Hoenn region do you have any takers Valentin Veluza I don't even have to touch it. I can see it's got the springy texture of seaweed, chock full of nutrients. Ah, look at it. Look at it. It catches the light and shines so brilliantly. Oh, that's so rich, fresh aroma of something plucked straight out of the ocean. I need to get my me some of that. Now listen, kid, if you want to challenge me at the Kasakava gym, you need some smarts. It's a perfect place to, and this is a perfect place to test you. Get the winning bit of the seaweed for this old man. I'll give it my best shot. Gah, 
I already, you already know the ins and outs of auctions at this young age. You are something else, kid. Here you are, fi fighting funds for the auction. I'll be smart with it and win this old man that seaweed. Here's 50k. Make the winning bid at the auction. How am I going to do that? Should probably listen to him. How much legendary seaweed? We'll start at 10,000. 15,000. Do I hear more? We're currently at 15. 20,000 yen. 30,000. Well done, kid. I guess I lost. <clears throat> that was amazing. You put those grown-ups and bidders to shame with your bidding skills. Thank you for s winning that seaweed for this old man. I'll be taking it now if you don't mind. You handed the legendary Wakame seaweed to Kofu. This seaweed is a great catch. I'd be feeling low as the seabed if I had failed to get my hands on it. If you, there's any money I, I gave you left, feel free to keep it as a tip. You can even... Use it to try your hand at an auction again if you feel like. All right, I'm ahead to Kasakafa. Old man Kofu is going to prepare real good to battle you. See you there. Oh, there we go. I was like, no gym test pass thing. There it is. So we can, we can battle Kofu now. And report to the gym staffer. Unfortunately, no Pokemon unless I, and I'm going to test this theory out and see if I can go to this beach and if this beach is considered something else here. Or if that's how I can get my hands on a different Pokemon. Unless this is no beach. Why have all this water and have no beach? Excuse me. Maybe once I get the ability to surf, yeah, this becomes area two, so nope. Maybe once I get the ability to surf, I can get stuff on the marina and stuff. Are you kidding? I'm going to pretend that I didn't see that as a catchable encounter. I think that's a very good thing to just pretend we didn't see. I think, do you guys agree we should pretend not to see that? Primeape. The fact that this is just considered area two kind of makes me upset. Because it's like, again, it's like, why? Oh! Oh! Actually, something I just thought of by picking up that mint. So we have the ability in this game to change natures. Are we going to treat that just like normal? Like, I feel like we can treat that just normally as well. Because, ooh. oh my god, wait, 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 get back over here, get back over here, get back over here. Oh, it's just the lighting. That just looks shiny to me. What? Doesn't the shiny one have the blue tongue? Hold the fucking phone. Am I stupid? Ghastly Pokemon. Here's some information about Ghastly. Ghastly is a ghost point. Ghastly shiny Pokemon. Oh my.
You cannot tell me. Guys. That is so close. I wish you could see that better. It's not because it's not the ready ready color. But that blue is literally No, this looks like it is. It didn't shine. Look at that. I'm going to just catch it just for the sake of security. It probably isn't, and I'm probably freaking out. But that, it's the blue tongue. I know I'm being paranoid, and I was paranoid about Chinese um, in a previous episode, but I just mean check the ball that we're never gonna use. I wish the lighting would help us a little bit more. But I'm sorry, it's worth it for a potential Gengar.
Okay, it's not. Sorry for wasting your guys' time, but it's a lot more purpley in here, but on the freaking camera, you can't tell me that it look, didn't look shiny. Because, see, it wasn't that purpley color. And so that's what got me. It was like, it's not as purpley color. It's like this blue. I said, it's not the color it's supposed to be. It looks like it's off. Anyways, enough with my, uh, my rambling and my ranting. Back the way I'm supposed to be. Apologies, like I said, for that. But I was just like, I'm sorry. You can't... You cannot... With shinies, like, if you're gonna have overworld Pokemon, I... I get it, right? Pokemon in the overworld is fine. But I'm sorry. You're gonna have a... Lighting affect the color of the Pokemon? No. That I am not for. I'm not for lighting affecting the color of the Pokemon. And I get that it makes sense and where it could canonically fit into the line of thinking. But if shinies are a part of your game, they shouldn't you should not be affecting the color of the Pokemon. Especially with your blue hues, right? Your blue hues for the daytime, nighttime, yeah, that should not, especially that big of a difference. No, dog. I'm not, no. Anyways, we're going to fight um, Ka Kabu. Kofu? Oh, hi. Well, now, John, you appear to be progressing well in your gym circuit. What is this now? Is this that kid I've been hearing so much about? Hey, kiddo, I heard you're, like, way too good for battling. Yeah, not that good. But you can easily fool me. No need to humble yourself, you hear? This young lady would be Rika. That's me, Rika, at your service. And hey, I know I'm pretty, but no need to get intimidated or anything. She is a little f farcical, shall we say, but like myself, she is an Elite Four member. What? I wasn't trying to be funny. Anyways, um, tell you something, kiddo. I look fun, like, interesting at a glance. Anyway, naturally, he's one of the Academy esteemed students. Oh, uh, that checks out. But battles you'll face at these gyms really ratchet as you go further. Indeed, your average trainer abandons the challenge roughly at this very point. But not you, right, kiddo? When See, when you hit the champion's assessment, you need to show these gems what you got. Best of fortunes to you. When it comes to the champion's assessment, you gotta show these. I was first thing I thought it was like going to be like, you gotta recycle and actually fight all these gems again. I heard you reunited Kobu with his wallet. I can't thank you enough. Though, this is a little irregular. Please consider your gym test passed. Are you ready to be... Ready to challenge the... Ch uh, challenge gym leader Kobu, the surging chef? Yes. Very well. Allow me to see you to the battle court. Please let Mama Bear do something. That's all I ask. Oh man, Kofu, come play with us. Come on, come on, come on. I would be honored if you would try a new item from my restaurant's menu as well. Sorry, everybody. I've got some business to take care of as a gym leader real quick, like. 
I'm keeping some wa someone waiting, you see? Please forgive me. I need to do this first. Okay. Hey, you step right up. I've been waiting for you. Thanks for your help over in Porto Miranda. You did a mighty fine job. And now that I've gotten the legendary seaweed, I can make some like, really quality dishes with it. Don't expect me to go easy on you in our battle here. Oh, I don't. Iono took away one of our members. I expect another gym leader to do the same. The auction will battle. We battle with buying and selling. At gyms, we battle with a more traditional sense. Moves and tactics ever changing as the raging sea. I must serve you a full course of water type Pokemon. Don't try and eat them, though. I mean, it's not going to be a water type Pokemon because we lost them onto the water type Pokemon, but. What are you leading off with? That is a big question. A fire type. D yep, exactly what I expected. But. Mama Bear can do something, so uh, thank you, bud. I feel a bit into in bet indebted to you. Don't expect me to go easy on you, though. You just said that twice now. Um. Oh, frick a doodle! My brain thinks we're doing this in a random, regular situation where I'd have a ground type move. I don't have that. Um, that's fine though. I can just hit you, and I can stay in though. Oh, no, we're just dropping Dracos today. Today, you know, the last couple episodes, AI has just been dropping Dracos like it's nobody's business. And it's like, are you sure that this is how this is supposed to work? Are we supposed to be able to drop Dracos like that? Also, did he not lower his special attack because of it? Is there like a thing that does that now? Oh my gosh, Mama Bear still can't do anything. Because I don't presume Mama Bear is going to hit hard with other moves that she has in her arsenal. Okay, yeah, no, no, her, the special attack is down, so minus four. Whoa. Expect the shore up. Yep. Oh, I just realized it's shore up in the sand. That's actually such a good move because it's sand sand stream shore up. Because of course it's sand stream shore up. Okay. Well, I'm gonna fly because that's gonna allow me to get some more. Um, What's it called? Leftovers. That'll give me two turns of it. Good attack to avoid. Sandstorm is not going to fade. Branch of book, that's fine. That's doing nothing. And that lowered speed, not that it matters. Mama Bear got a kill! Look at you go, Mama Bear. You did it. Oh, crap. I double hit A too hard. Oh, no, there we go. Vigoroth. Hmm... I am going to play the card and switch to Boomy. I'm not going to play our big card, big boy card yet, though. Because I don't know. And I should try it on a low level, like person with multiple. Oh my god, two Sandstream Pokemon, what? I 
why why he had two strand sand stream Pokemon is beyond me. But I'm about to play it abundantly safe. Which might trigger a few of you folks, so uh, I'm sorry, but I, I am playing abundantly safe after what had happened in the last gym, so. If he's gonna do recoil moves, he's gonna die to recoil moves. Of course, he doesn't actually click the recoil move, but. The fact that he's trying to like have this sandstorm type mentality. You know what? I just played it uberly safe. We can't even get crap. But I'm gonna no retreat here. Might as well. We'll take the super effective. We're plus one everything. Can Boomy necessarily switch? Patrick wants to learn false surrender. What is that? User pretends to bow its head. Then it stabs the target with its disheveled hair. This attack will never miss. So it's stronger aerial ace essentially but for dark types. I like that move concept. What does he want? Uh, no. Gonna say no to it. I can always relearn it later. Psyduck. Psyduck Ace. Oh! There you go. Confirmation. We can. We can swap if needed. So good to know. It's only on the one mon. So no retreat's actually a really good move then. Prepare for the rigging of a big transformation. My Pokemon's gonna rock the boat. Now I gotta recognize that this could still be really bad for me. But I don't really have anything that would not like water, or that would be fine with water either. Attack drop. Magic Powder, you're turning me into a Psychic type. Thank you for literally getting rid of the problem that I had. Appreciated. Um, the fact that he had two Sand Streamers, though. Like, really? Did he need two? Apparently, but... Well, there you go. Boomy got to showcase what he's there for. He's there to be a truck. He doesn't have the moves to be a truck, but he's that's what he's there for. Also, we should teach Thunderbolt to somebody. I don't know why I haven't. Silly me. Silly old me. But yeah, well, there we go. Fourth gym badge acquired. And in the next episode, ooh, who's learning growth? Mama Bear. I like that Mama Bear. I don't click Burning Jealousy, like, ever. 
and I think that plus attack boost on Mamba Bear is going to be huge. I would say we have Boomy for fire type moves, but we don't really. Um, Krakatoons are fire move person. It's weird. Valentin Veluza. You're a livy lively one, aren't you? A little too lively, if I do say so myself. Here's fifty-four hundred dollars. Gah, a loss is as refreshing as the air at the morning market. I'm just a little helpless, a little magic harp to you, eh, flopping around all willingly. You got me good, I tell you. What a catch you are! Just like a master fisher, you held on tight till the last second, reeled in victory. Now it's time to hand over my gym badge. Let's re get a real good photo together using a pose I've been waiting to try out for a while now. Downward dog? I'd be down with that. What? Um, We defeated the gym. With four badges in your possession, book one up to level 40 will be easier to catch and listen to uh, when you ask him to do things let me throw this as an extra special bonus make sure you get good use of it chilling water use your attack the target showering with water that's so cold it's that saps the target's power this also lowers the target's attack okay so literally bitter malice but for water types cool which also means he had Chili, uh, probably had it on, uh, his Pokemon. Hi, Namona. Oh, hey, John. Hola. Caught you just as you finished up here. Nice work. Puts you at Forge Badges now, right? Man, that's so awesome. I cannot believe you're halfway through the gym journey already. Your efforts are bearing so much fruit quickly. This makes me want to challenge you to a battle right here, right now. But I'm going to have to wait. Because I put together my team of Pokemon specifically to take on the gym leader. Dang it. When I battle you, I want to do it under my best possible conditions. And this means the time. this time I have to take it as a rain check. I gotta ask for a rain check. Ugh. This is the worst time ever. Sorry. Forgive me. Forgive me. Uh, yeah. Um, see, I, I forgive you for not battling me here. But I don't forgive you for literally killing Whaleabout. You know, if you would have kept Whale about alive, I'd have no problems with you. But then I would again. I would also have not not have Boomy. But I love Whale about, and Whale about's like my life, my love, and my happiness. And you drained that all away from me in like two point five seconds because you had Quiver Dance, Draco Meteor, and uh, this gym leader had Draco Meteor as well. Anyways, love you all. Have a great one.